The House Ad Hoc Committee on the Bangsamora Basin the passage of the proposed legislation with amendments to provisions that may be challenged before the Supreme Court. Panel Chair Rufus Rodriguez says only eight such provisions will be amended. Meanwhile, the House leadership assures the Iqbal alias issue will not derail the peace process. Again, here's Freddy Abang. Speaker Felician Bumonte and top leaders of the House agreed the signature of MILF Chief Negotiator Mohager Iqbal will not invalidate the peace agreement signed by the government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front last year, nor will it affect the approval of the draft Bangsa Moro Basic Law to be tackled by the House Ad Hoc Committee, chaired by Congress Rodriguez next week. It supports the position of the government's peace negotiator, Professor Miriam Coronel Ferrer. I have always uh, maintained that uh, we know who Iqbal is by whatever name, name he is known. Uh, uh, and uh, I don't think it's a, it's a, it's a big thing. You know? uh, moreover, he says that uh, his real identity is known to, to the government. You know? But he pref like all revolutionaries, he prefers that uh, 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 his family is protected, his, uh, that, stuff like that. You know? uh, and that's, that's normal all over the world. So I don't see why we are making a big thing out of it. Hindi na natin mababago yung uh, ganong klaseng sitwasyon na sa habang panahon ng pakikipagnegosasyon, nakilala na siya din sa ganyang kanyang pangalan. Ang punta naman dito, wala naman yatang ibang lumalabas na tao na nagsasabi na siya si Mr. Iqbal at siya yung nakipumirma dito sa dokumento na ito. Yung legalidad naman yata o yung effect nung, uh, nung, uh, yung, nung kanyang paggamit ng alias sa isang peace agreement ay hindi naman... Uh, sa punto na mawawalang bisa ano man yung napirmahan. Rodriguez assured that the draft law will be approved by his committee with several amendments and provisions which could be challenged for their constitutionality in the Supreme Court. Rodriguez stressed there is no basis for the Moro Islamic Liberation Front to claim that amending the draft law could lead to a watered-down measure. Only eight provisions in the proposed law will be subject to changes. The creation of offices which are constitutional bodies. These are civil service, audit, human rights, COMELEC, the Office of the Ombudsman and Human Rights. Rodriguez urged the MILF to respect the mandate of Congress to pass a law that will comply with the Constitution. Rodriguez said the House cannot be threatened by any pressure from the MILF. We are going to legislate what is best uh, in the Constitution. If they will not accept it, that is their, their concern. And the, the government is ready to, uh, to meet whatever challenge there will be after this law is passed. So I hope that they are going to accept it so that we can have peace in Mindanao. Ferrer made it clear that all provisions that may face changes will not violate the Constitution. Ferrer is hopeful Congress will pass a draft law that will reflect the true spirit of the peace agreement to end the 42-year-old conflict in Mindanao. The whole Bangsamoro government is under the supervision of all the constitutional bodies. It doesn't mean na kung magtayo ka ng isang auditing of auditor mo, auditor's office, eh hindi ka na exempted ka na sa COA. Di ba sinasabi nga, bibigyan natin sila ng pera, bagamat hindi yung sinasabing halaga na malaking halaga, hindi ba gusto natin gamitin nila to ng mabuti? So ano naman ang mali kung meron silang added check and balance dyan sa pamagitan ng kanilang internal auditing body na hindi naman ibig sabihin kung meron kang idadagdag na ganyan ay hindi ka na masasakop ng kapangyarihan ng COA. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddy Obando reporting.